I don't want my boyfriend to sew in You know what? I feel like Delta's husband sewing all the costumes. No. That's, I, like, that's like the I don't want a Sonny and Cher type of situation. Not that he sewed, but like, I, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want my boyfriend to be a computer programmer. She had um, a backyard full of lemons because she lived on the master cleanse. She was doing the master cleanse she, all the She's time. cuckoo bananas. But she looks great. Yeah, I was like spraying my hair while I was DJing. For real? And then I was like, I'm gonna go spray people in the audience. So then during the track, I was going up and people in the front row were turning around and holding their hair out. And I was just spraying it and they were like flapping around. I'm gonna be there with a the butane lighter next to you. <laughs> totally. Oh, uh, what's the topic? Who cares? <laughs> at this point, Mary, like, it's irrelevant. We do musicals. Girl, uh, at this point, at about this off. Nobody's here because of the topic. <laughs> They're here because of this. This is what they want. That hot <laughs> They're, They want that. that steaming hot Indiana snapper. Yeah. This that is the- piping hot frappuccino <laughs> squirt, This is squirt, Delphire. Mrs. Delicatessen. Weekend at Bernie's. Yeah, weekend at Bernie's. Yeah. <laughs> weekend at Bernie's. We're, weekend at Bernadette's. My p was reviewed recently by the Pitchfork. <laughs> no, bitch. No, bitch. <laughs> My p the was vulture. recently reviewed by the, the vulture. vulture. The Pitchfork. The Pitchfork. The Vulture gave her four Pitchforks, a very tender p Just chew up some almonds and chew them really well. Trixie Mattel. And I put out four cans of dog food for your <laughs> Show them to try it again. And I've already set out the four wet cans of dog food for you, honey. Katya. And welcome to oh. the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. Ooh, supermodel of the world. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. And pose, and pose. Oh. Ooh, no one was hurt. We're talking um, about modeling. We're talking about modeling. My well, name is Bella Hadid. Well, my name <laughs> is Bella Hadid. Modeling, well, listen, modeling is a very complex layered thing, right? My name, my name is, is Bella Hadid. <laughs> and by the way, my costumes like, right now are only this much loose. And I'm like, my name is Bella it's like, Hadid. It's like guilty. <laughs> I've I lost, I haven't even lost weight. I've just stopped gaining it and I'm like, my name. You're gonna waste away. It's yeah. Bella Hadid. Like, uh, um, have you ever had to do runway modeling? Are you kidding me? I don't know, have you? Cover girl, put the base in your walk on RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, I guess that counts. Uh, yeah. yeah, it does. <gasps> and guess what you don't get? Preparation, or a run through, or a dry run, I or know. a rehearsal. Yeah. The first episode was three fashion walks. Oh the mini challenge, which had spring and uh, fall, and then the main challenge, which was make a resort piece that tore away to a nude illusion outfit on the main stage for the first time. Never seen the stage, never felt the stage, never, never walked it one day in your life. Did you wear a gown? No, I wore a thong. Where was your balls? Tucked up into my body. You tucked. What do you think I was gonna do? What do you I think don't I was know. Do you have both nuts hanging out, the nasty nuts in front of Michelle Visage? <laughs> She's seen them. A lot of the girls have done Fenty or like Marco Marco. Oh, I've right. never had Marco to do Marco. a real. Uh, real. So, curiously, never been invited to do any of that stuff. I've never been invited either, and I'm really not pleased with it. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to do it. But no, it's never happened. Y'all were invited. CFK we were. Awards. Oh, we were invited to the seat. <laughs> What the f We were invited to the CFDA Awards. Why didn't I know about that? You said no. Oh. You said no. Oh. I, I guess I also said no. I don't remember. All these awards, this is a, these are for hot, gorgeous, young people who have teams of stylists and makeup artists and hair people and managers and publicists to swirl and swarm around them and make sure everything is carried out to the letter, to the minute, to the second. Uh-huh. I'm not interested in any of that stress. We're being photographed by Getty Images looking like who done it. Yeah. And Getty images. <laughs> I'm still a, a baby serious. in a hand, in Mary. a couple of hands on the red carpet, sl sleeping soundly like a pea in a pod. I'm not. <laughs> Two earthworms. <laughs> it buried in dirt too, which is glass. And <laughs> face pressed against glass. In a way, coffin. I'm not joking. If we could get Ann Getty to shoot us for a calendar it in the be style fierce. of Ann I Getty, know, be fierce. It'd be fierce. You know, I'm what going mean. through a personal renaissance where I'm realizing. Nothing you dreamed of going to is actually fun to go to. Thank you very much, Barbara. Any That's award true. show, any dinner, any honors, any fundraiser. Red carpet. What if you're seated next to Anna Winter? I don't care. And I wouldn't know. 
I mean, I know her haircut. Mm -hmm. I know what she looks like. What if I go dressed as her and I refuse to give up the gag and just play like her all night? And then I start stabbing you with my knife in the front row of the fashion show. They would be like, I don't remember Anna Wintour uh, being so ugly. Does she bed. normally do her makeup with a trowel? <laughs> in the 90s, supermodels like were supermodels, right? Like people, yeah. their job was to be a runway fashion model. Yeah. And now the premier model in fashion shows is often just a famous person. Right. It's different. Thanks to who? Anna Wintour. You think? Yeah, she puts uh, actresses on the cover of Vogue. It changed the whole game. Now we have to look at Sarah Jessica Parker and not Christy Turlington. Nicole Kidman was just looking for Balenciaga. It's so weird. She's wearing a tinfoil uh, tarp. Do you like when the, the walks are really weird? Like this one? Not that. Crazy. But I think it was on purpose though. I, I love that you shirt. took two steps and not said, not this. <laughs> not this walk, that's just me. No, but like lumbering like, um, like a villain. I remember seeing a Jeremy Scott show with Violet in it and she was in like a vampire look mm -hmm. and she would run away she looked fabulous. And then she, when she would get by certain people, she would lunge yeah. at them. Oh, that's fun. Festive. I love when it's like runway plus some, some, some theatrical element. Well, what about Alexander like when it's raining? McQueen. Oh yeah, put the models through hell. Rings of fire. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think they, like if I were, um, a, like a like a big designer, I would spin them around blindfolded and then push them out in the runway right before it was their turn. Just see what happens. Yeah, yeah. These poor gals in those stacked stacked boots, ankles rolling. Naomi out. Campbell famously with those Vivian Westwood. She wore her ankle. Well, she wore these sky high Vivian Westwood platform and then she fell. I think that they should be suspended with their like doing just walking motions two inches above the runway. That's really good. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Kind of like a dry cleaning. Speaking oh, of supermodel. Oh I did a college gig. This is crazy. Oh God. Just you need to listen to okay, this. Okay, I'm listening. I did a gig recently at a college, and it was really fun and nice. Brandon, what college was it? Penn State. It was oh, Penn that State. was you made up for me. Penn State. I was okay, to I be went there. to your gig to cover for you, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Miss. <laughs> and they say you're not her, and I go, I know, it's better. So. <laughs> I have to come out and host the show okay. with Jujubee. Yes. And I am going to come out and I'm going to host first and then I'm going to introduce Jujubee to do her number, uh -huh. right? You guys know Jujubee from every- Yeah, every I, single episode. Every drag competition drag that ever yeah. existed, yes. So I tell him, you know what? Just put on any RuPaul song, put on Supermodel, it's fine. And you see something to walk to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know how Supermodel starts? I know. Once upon a time, there was a little black girl in the Brewster Projects. And she was scouted by an Ebony Fashion Fair model scout and her career took off. You better work. And then I walk out like, I forgot that it had a spoken intro. I, I, thought, I had no idea. I thought they were gonna hit play and I was gonna go, yeah. you better work. Yeah, 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 yeah. But instead it was, once upon a time there was a little black yeah, girl. Yeah, it was the color purple. And Damn. so then I walked out and I was just like, I forgot about the spoken piece at the top of that yeah. song. Yes. And all I needed was 10 seconds to walk out to. It's not like I was doing the song. <laughs> I wasn't even lip syncing. Oh I just wanted God. something to walk to. You were like, I'm black. <laughs> Mary, Mary, I'm in a blonde wig and white gold Rachel boots. You're Rachel Dolson. Isn't that you're Rachel Dolson. So, isn't that crazy? You're Rachel like, Dolson. I just <laughs> Rachel <Dolson. laughs> I forgot about that until now. Oh. That is so crazy that that happened. Oh my God. And I'm standing there and Jujubee <sighs> looks at me and Jujubee goes, <laughs> a little black girl in the Brewster Projects. And I, I'm just like, shut your mouth. And then I just go behind the curtain like. <laughs> Surprise, so, yeah. I'm not black. <laughs> Maybe I should have dubbed it. Once upon a time, there was a little white girl. Like that would have helped me. Yeah, that yeah, would yeah. Partially Ojibwe girl. What's funny is, in addition to thinking I'm disgusting to look at, and always, I always you, have. You always. I think also. That you're the only one. Have it in me to walk by a mirror and go. Like I don't know what it is. I might be disgusting, uh -huh. but like that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That has nothing to do with what I see. I walk by a full-length mirror at my grandma's house. <laughs> like I can't help it. It's just. I need to model. I need to know about my hands, my face. I need to look in the mirror and do touching. I need to do a lot of this. Your name is? Bella. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I have been approached in the airport many times. 
by TSA. <laughs> By, dog, by drug dogs. <laughs> yeah. by drug I've been dogs. approached by German shepherds who um, found G in my fanny pack. <laughs> so I've been approached um, at TSA. I, I go, oh my God, what? Do you want me to sign something? And they go, you're not on this flight. In fact, you don't have it. Hey, you're totally nude. Yeah. Get out of this airport. Yeah. My name is. I love it, <laughs> Did you ever watch America's Next Top Model? You wanna be on top? Are you kidding me? Every season you while did? I was on television. You did? I did. Did you love it? Yes, it was insane. Yeah. That show is insane. Everybody who keeps being like, when you go back and watch it. In my hands, I have two problematic photos. One of you will still be in the running to become America's Next Top Model. The other one must pack their things and be immediately executed. It's actually crazy. I'm like, it was crazy then. It was crazy then. It's it was crazy. crazy it then. It will always be crazy. If you didn't think them dressing like homeless people was crazy then, yeah, that's between you and God. And it also, was crazy and then. You, it's crazy. You now. didn't get the the um. If you didn't get the sheer uh, terror of watching Tyra Banks put on a fat suit for her talk show, girl, and tell the audience how she knows what it's like to be fat. Sickening. Sickening. In in the queer community especially, yeah. I think the Go-Go's are the models. Mama, yeah. The Go-Go's are the muse of every party. If the Go-Go's look great and are having a good time, it's a good party. You wanna see Go-Go's dance? Mm -hmm. You go to like West Hollywood, it's like the big muscly guys, and of course they're beautiful to look at, and they're yeah. like this, the and that's boobity, boobity, boobity. You go to the bear parties? Oh, Men who are 275 pounds, yeah. Like going in on those boxes, yeah. burning calories. <laughs> like, Letting it's fun. It. Cause these big boys got them big cucumber, cucumber cannons. I had to tell one of them, baby, I'm not that gay. <laughs> Jazz and Masters. The ultimate role model. Now, any type of person can technically be a model. Brands could pay you to wear their clothes and post Absolutely. It. If we're waiting for the fashion industry to decide that size four is okay, we're gonna be waiting a long time. So I actually like that on social media, like anybody of any size, if they have great personal style, they can get gigs modeling clothes. Do you ever see somebody who looks like you and think that That's will look model. good on me because it, it looks good on them? It usually happens with Naomi Campbell or Kate Moss, and I'm usually right. Are Naomi and Kate in the room now? <laughs> My name is... <laughs> My name is... Bella Hadid. <laughs>did you ever dream as a kid of being like photographed for anything like uh no but i've always thought it was being filmed <laughs> you've always thought you were currently being filmed always always i if, yes you know you what know, it's a gay thing so it's a layer of self-consciousness that escapes most ordinary folks because you you have a, a, a surveillance watchful eye on everything you're aware of yourself constantly under You're-his eye uh, hello that part <laughs>